Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Megabot Bruise Day, Tuesday, Third Strike Action all night long. My name is David. I'm joined in the chat by all my friends here. We got Bones, Papey. We've got uh, uh, Stoner Time to Launch. It's his birthday, guys. My friend Stoner Time to Launch. It's his birthday, day, guys. Make sure you guys say HBD to this dude. Shout out to my friend Connor. Likewise, we have uh, two teams, each with nine players for Sneech's Civil War. If you guys are new to Sneech's Civil War, it's like a basically like East versus West, but the teams are kind of based on a seed. So we have Lord Solar and Sophist as the two uh, first players, and they kind of, as we go down these teams, um, the players are getting stronger and stronger, by my estimation, which is, of course, limited. I don't know all these players uh, intimately enough to know uh, exactly where they should be seated. Some might be seated kind of whack, and I apologize for that in advance, but I did my best to seed the things here. And uh, we have two teams, the Undies and the Vests, and it's winner stays on, guys. So if Lord Solar beats Sophist, it'll be Lord Solar versus Soul Shining. If Soul Shining then beats Lord Solar, at least Shining versus Drifter. Uh, basically, it's pretty simple, guys. Winner stays on. We're going down the teams in order. Here we go, guys. Let's get Lord Solar versus Sophist. We're going to do first to twos, guys. Let's do Lord Solar. Uh, should we do first to twos or first to ones? Uh, we have uh, uh, 18 players. Let's do um, first to one, guys. And then, oh, I don't know, should we? Let's do first to ones, and then we're going to do as many of these as we can tonight. So let's do Lord Solar versus Sophist. First to one, please. Let's cheer on these players. I mean, winner stays on, guys. I love to do first to twos, guys. Let's it, keep it first to one for now, though. And we'll get as many of these events as we can, in, uh, as we can tonight. Thank you for the reminder of third, Noobster. Yes, there's going to be more than one of these tonight, guys. So we're keeping it first to ones here. Let's go ahead and get Sophist and Lord Solar in there, guys. As a reminder, please jump in as fast as you possibly can. That way we can get more of these uh, tonight. Less time waiting on stream. Sophist is a, a learning ebooky player. Lord Solar is a Ken player who streams at twitch.tv slash Lord Solar. They tend to also run events over there. Sophist right now, we always encourage them to work on their SA1. They're an SA1 ebooky who's kind of learning how to find the right space to jump to get that chip damage. Ibuki SA1 is a really uh, special super. It's kind of like unblockable, right? I really feel like Ibuki's SA1 doesn't do like that much more damage on hit than on block. And so I think a lot of Ibuki's, uh, a lot of Ibuki's use it for a chip tool to get like a guaranteed checkmate. Of course, you can peer out. It's not really guaranteed, guaranteed. But uh, it is sort of like a way to checkmate your opponent if you have three bards especially. It's kind of tricky. Here we go. Lord Solar and Sophist. We're probably going to have Ken versus Ibuki here. Let's do it. Yeah, we got Ken here versus Ibuki. These are both the first players for their teams. In Sneech Civil War, the first players are the lowest seeds. You guys have any advice for, uh, ooh, nice. So, Solar has a really bad habit, which is, yeah, he just raw DPs constantly. I think that he's really, uh, you know, happy, and he should be, that he has that cancel timing, right? If you're new to playing Street Fighter, getting the cancel timing uh, is pretty impressive. Uh, it's gonna be pretty challenging. And so it's kind of nice you can get that cancel in a DP, but the DP is such a huge risk, you can't just be DPing like that if you're not confirming it. And so I hope that Sophist is kind of going to look for these DPs and punish them. Let's also watch, guys, as Sophist tries to find the right spacing to jump in and get this SA1. That's kind of what Sophist has been working on lately. On stream, anyway. On Bruce Day Tuesday. There it is right there. Perfect. Very well done. Got one more as well. Can chip here. Oh, no, I think she wanted it right there. I think Sophist wanted it right there, but uh, didn't get the execution for the super. Nice super there from Lord Solar gets the first round. Has a whole bar left as well. Drop to Ken. It's three bars of super. That's ridiculous. Ban this character. Raw Schwope with the meaty. Got the parry into a grab. Sophist kind of just kind of moving around here at full screen. Trying to find their way in. Interesting combo there from Lord Solar. That was like cross-up medium kick and a crouching medium kick. I love seeing Solar kind of being more patient with these DPs, not just kind of, you know, just putting it out there all the time. Here's the super. <gasps> oh, shit. Now, I think that Sophus can now kill with these two supers. Just has to get them both. Set it up. You got to neutral jump there. Oh, no. See, now Sophus could have neutral jump there on uh, Solar's wake up. To get to SA1 as a meaty. Better super. Oh no! Wow, that did so much damage. You're getting Lord Solar. So we lose Sophist here. Let's do uh, Lord Solar versus Soul Shining, guys. Let's do Lord Solar 
versus Soul Shining. First to one, please. Good game, Sophie. Good game, Solar. Yeah, Sophie, remember we're talking a lot about like the SA1, right? If your opponent is on their back, that's a great chance for you to like neutral jump. You could jump straight up and then put that super on top of them, right? If you time it right. That's a good way to spend your bar if you've got extra bar. Let's get Lord Solar here versus Soul Shine. Because they can't stop you from jumping there because they're on their back. Yes, Stoner Tom is pleased. We got Soul versus Soul here. Soul trying to go with Yang. I can't believe that Lord Solar's EXDP did so much damage to that last round. He's great, Tab. You ain't kidding, dude. Prepare to strike now. Okay, Soul Tiger kind of uh, putting some pokes out so that uh, Solar can't dash. Okay. Right now we're seeing that Solar looking really confident right now with the, with the with the ground game. He's a musician, Tab. He's a musician. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if you heard of this band. It's called Blink-182, Tab. Yeah. Stoner Time Belong is the lead singer of that band. Now, you can see with that, I believe, right? The shove? Really liking Lord Solar's uh, neutral here. Where are you, Sophist? And I'm so sorry. Oops. So now Soul Shine's got full bar. Dude, Soul's looking very confident right now with this ground game. I've never seen him play this uh, this confident on the ground before. Tutsuwu. Three assists starting, believe it or not. We're going to kind of late start tonight. Because I'm quite behind. Wow, what a super lift from Lord Solar. This is Sneetches Civil War. We're still in the very first... Oh my... God. In the first games of Civil War, the first battles, if you will. Ooh, okay, Soul Shine. Nice block there. Oh no, missed his, uh, his confirm. I'd say Soul has a really good shot here. Not sure why Soul Shine set back off so far. Final round. Go. Oh wow. How you doing, Zulu? Even on healthier in the final round. That's confirmed there from Soul Shine. Oh my god! EXDP beats the EX Magic Slash. That's invincible. Oh, went for the close freeze and got grabbed out. That's kind of unusual. I think I'm gonna hit the same frame. Grab will beat. Oh shit. We'll beat any button, same frame. Nice punch from Soul Shine. Got the full combo as well. Whoa! He actually got so high, he avoided the jumping fear, uh, crouching fears. That's hard to get over. It's a huge ass button. Well done, Soul Shine. Well done, Lord Solar. Let's do Soul Shine, guys, versus uh, Liquid Drifter. Let's do Soul Shine versus Liquid Drifter, guys. First to one, please. There's some button I can press to do cross through, but I forget what it is. Yeah, well done, Lord Solar. Well done. We got Drifter versus Soul Shine now. Let's see how this pans out. Right now, the teams are even, guys. Both teams have lost their first player. Prepare to strike now. Okay, let's put some bar there. Good patience there. Ooh, I'm with the fucking overhead. Because based on the OH. Wow, that crouching strong hit from that far away. Two crouching strong is a god button. Oh, hold this fucking dragon punch. That's kind of hard to punish, actually. Look at that. That's, I don't think I've ever seen ZXTP before in my life. Yang EXTP. But it didn't really go that high in the air. That's one for Drifter in a close first round. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. 
I think that sweep might have been unsafe in that situation. Maybe not. Maybe Ken couldn't uh, jump around us in time. Ooh. Two a combo there. Oh, that's a punch on the Witch Roundhouse. Oh my god, these DPS are doing work right after Drifter. Whiff into Grib. Wake up Super should connect. It's not that much damage, honestly. Ooh. Oh my god, that DP is uh, not grabbable. It's also invincible on its uh, startup frames, but not on its first hitting frame. So it can trade with other specials and heavies. Wow! That kicks all day. Nice grab from Drifter. Anyone's game right now still? That button hit so far. What was that? Towards strong? That's what button that is. Nice toe touch there from Soul Shine. He's hungry for piggies. I respect that. Just like the big bad wolf. Soul Shine trying to be a little bit obnoxious now with the, uh, with the running away. Not sure what he's really building bar for. Of course, Yang has EX Mance, which is great, but I feel like SA2 is not. Uh, Doing a lot of good here. What a fucking Tatsumaki there. Catches the recovery of the dive kick. Next bone's a standing fierce. Ooh, wow. Drifter has a huge life lead right now. It's kind of hard for Yang to the life lead. His health bar is... Oh, wow! It's very small! Actually beat DP's recovery there. Is that a fucking combo? What the hell was that? How come it didn't hit? There was a hit in there that whip looked like. Good game, Soul Shine. He advances over Drifter. That means that the vests are ahead now. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the uh, yeah, that's the vests. Let's go ahead and do Soul Shine versus Zion, guys. Let's do Soul Shine versus Zion FGC. First to one, please. Good stuff, Drifter. Here we go. Love seeing Yang. Yang's a character that I'm quite uh, afraid of. Always cool seeing more Yang players online, helping us all get some experience. We're going to have Soul versus Zion here, guys. Both these players were uh, players that I had trouble uh, seeding. Book board, Kenny. How's your night been, dude? Zion playing Makoto here. Soul Shine sticking with Yang. There's no character lock here tonight, guys, by the way. That's gonna be true all night long. So both players kinda trying to like, you know, run away, build some bar. Oh, got the peering of the Karaxa. Well done. Did any bar making anything cool happen? Tick dash up grab. Just Makoto things. Has bar now, but spent it on EX there and couldn't get the uh couldn't get the uh, SA run. That's a link after Hayate or Dash Punch. Surprised I didn't punish there. That's not safe. Soul Shine misses the punish. Soul Shine getting some uh, some of the uh, lead narrowed away here. Almost even on health now. Wow, look at these dashes from Makoto. She's everywhere, dude. My god. That Godonski link is so good. Zion takes the first round. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Now she has no bar left, she has to build another Godansky here. That was trip guard, that could not be blocked, that sweep. What's Mr. Battle, Kenny? Okay, Soul Sheet Smug corns himself there, it's not great. That's not safe, especially from Zion. She's probably crouching short to uh, Karax, uh, Hayate that. You know, Mr. Battle. I'm Mr. Battle. Put the ball in my mouth, I'm Mr. Battle. Oh, there it is again! Oh, no, could it... Oh, my... Oh, won the, uh, the Godansky there! We can get chip here. Good block. That pulled him in that far. That's weird looking. No, okay, you're talking about Mr. Battle. I'm Mr. Battle. With the ball in my mouth, I'm Mr. Battle. Spit him right out, I'm Mr. Battle. Once again, Corns himself. Not sure what the idea is there. Wow! Okay, so hits a couple of light buttons there to try to stop a dash there, I guess. Zion wants to build some bar to get that Godansky on deck. 
Okay, I'm like my Soul Shine. Happy to play full screen. Get some of these EX Mantis slashes built up. It's basically on the sweep. Oh, that's not safe. The punch there from Soul Shine, though. Crafting Strong God Button. Challenge enough for Soul Shine to get a nice little life lead, or a nice little lead on this, uh, on the opposing team. Oh, that was cool looking. Maybe right, Super Snoopy Koopa. Oh, no, you're gonna punish that fucking teleport there. That hit strong. I can't believe that works. Should be death unless we get a big drop. Kept it simple. Uh, okay, so Zion knocks out Soul Shine. I believe the teams are even once again. You win. If I'm not mistaken, well done, Zion. Well done, Soul Shine. Let's see what we got here. Let's do Zion versus Bones, guys. Again, the teams are now evened up. We have two dead for both teams. Let's do Zion versus Bones. That's going to be Zion versus the bonus of Zaz. First to one, please. This is a great storm Ah, what's up, Jonesy? Howdy, howdy, dude. We're doing Sneetch's Civil War, guys. We have two teams. Winner stays on as a format. If you win, you fight the next person on your opponent's team until none remain. We are now in our third player for both teams. The teams have nine players right now. We're doing Zion versus Bones. These are the two teams' third players. The teams are the Undies and the Vests. It was a hard call, guys. We should have gone with the Undies and Vests or the Shirts and Blouses. We'll do Shirts and Blouses next time. Bones will win Necro. I like that shit. I'm a big fan of Bones' uh, Necro and his Yang. To an extent, it's Sean as well. To an extent. Bones getting some bar here for SA3. It's very hard for uh, for Necro to approach Makoto for that reason right there. Her standing strong, her crouching medium kick, our god buttons this matchup. They just keep him out like nothing. Slip invalid. Is Tricky Day this, this Thursday, guys? Oh, no. Mr. Gudansky there from Zion. Oh, if you had blocked, to punish that. Okay, I say three on deck now. Oh, shit. Dude, Bones is coming back! Oh, no, it's spent the bar on the EX overhead. Oh, my God. What a Godansky! Oh, the wake up go Dansky. Unbelievable. Dude, third noob tree, let go Dansky's dog. Bones has so much bar, but it has trouble spending it. We gotta see SA1 confirm, SA3 confirm, excuse me. Wow! Okay, she doesn't have any bar to punish that with. I think she might have say one, maybe. The greasers are versus the socks? Maybe. This is the undies versus the vests here right now. Overhead doing work, but again, you can't really rely on that against players who are familiar with seeing that uh, Rising Cobra. It's really, really slow. I really don't like the idea that Bones is spending off his bar on this overhead. Now. Who are the greasers and who are the socks? The Soshi. Looks like, um, Zion's trying to parry this drill. This airborne action from Bones seems to be serving really well. I wouldn't mind seeing Zion go for more aerial stuff. More Tsuruki, jumping roundhouse, jumping MK. Yeah, Bones is playing like he's Arteus, but without SA1, these corner juggles are not going to really uh, do him a lot of good. I wouldn't mind seeing him try to fish more for SA3 confirms. Bones takes it over Zion. There's no character lock, and Bones uh, also is a competent Yang and Sean player. Let's do Bones now versus Threevenge, guys. Let's go. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's do Bones versus Threevenge. First to one, please. I think the Threevenge can definitely do this. Shouldn't be that much of a challenge, as long as he digs deep. 
But Bones is the kind of player that if you close your eyes on him even once, he will definitely uh, definitely um, hit you in the back of the neck with a Zulu blow dart. You know what time to launch, Katie? He's the lead singer of Blink-182. When do they open the new sponsors in Valid, huh? I'm still bummed they moved even further from us. Yeah, talking about some like uh, arcade UFO. Yeah, Katie, they're like a, a band that was popular a while back. Like, uh, probably like what? Like three months ago? Probably maybe a little longer than that. Okay, so we've seen Bones go to Yang now, staying quite airborne. I like to switch for uh, for three then. Switching from Necro to Yang. Okay, he misses DP there. Gotta go to get some training from Lord Solar to <laughs> get that DP. Oh, shit. Slashes? How do you know that, Summertime to Lunge? Are you friends with Katie's mom? I didn't even know that. Mantis Slash? Oh my god! Wasn't a fucking car is Empo? You see how far that fucking hit from? Yeah, KD, Storm Time to Launch is the artist formerly known as Dandy Dante Gaming. He's decided from now on to be Time to Launch from Blink-182 fame. But with a split finger from his mouth. <laughs> Prevention also likely in the second round here. Likely playing very patiently. Oh shit! Did I take off what I said? Eww! The double dash up. Oh, same side? How? Let's go, dude. Oh, he missed his dive kick. That could have been that was a huge drop from Bones. I'm gonna cross up three venge there. Dude, Bones Yangling kinda sick! Oh no! Huge drop in the third venge! Oh no my god. Lots of drops there in the end of the uh, second round. Bones takes it. Well done, well done. That was so great. I'm really glad that Bones' Yang is improving so quickly. That was really dope to watch. Let's do Bones versus Tob MB. Let's do Bones versus Tob. First to one, please. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Reading the chat. That's on some 41 track, dude. <laughs> Just naming every single band from that era. I picked Yang because Revenge beat my Necro and Sean last few times we played, huh? This is a good pick. Good pick. We want Bones and Top now, guys. Top is a Necro player. Known by some of Mr. Moneybags. Bones is a Necro and Yang player who has never played Sean before in his life. Yeah, I'm thinking, Katie, are you talking about Silver Chair? I think I'm talking about Silver Chair. Tab MB versus Bones. Katie's like, trust me, I never talk about Silver Chair. Just basing on that. Bones playing Sean. Unfortunately, like I said, he's never played Sean in his life, so it's going to be kind of tough. Oh my god. First of all, who is Silver Chain? Who are you talking about? Oh my god, what a fucking flying viper. Nice to say one there, nice anti here. So Bones has to say three at least, which is nice. 
the people were talking about Gin Blossom Zero. <laughs> oh no, Neon. <laughs> oh my. Todd takes it over Bones. Bold on Todd, bold on Bones. And the teams are even now, right? So Todd is the uh, the fifth player for his team. Uh, so actually, no, I think that Bones team's still ahead. Let's do Aura, Aura, Orange versus Todd. If Todd can beat Orange, they'll be tied up. Let's do Tab MB versus Aura Aura Orange. First to one, please. There's a button you can press to to uh, strike through. Actually, looks up real quick. Strike through shortcut. Is it Alt Shift Five? Need a, an OMG emote, man. That's your phrase. Is that my phrase? It's a very popular phrase. I think no one man can own it. Oh my god. Uh. Katie, is that a fucking eat emote? Tell me that's an eat emote. Because to my eyes, that looks like an eat emote. <laughs> Katie, the hell it is. Dude, that is fucking amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Here we go. Orange versus top. Here come the stones. I've seen a lot of stones from orange lately. Ooh, nice juggle. Going for the reset. It's the E emote. I hope it's just fucking KD underscore E. Are you ready? Go. Wow, touch up and launch, okay. Wow, it's not a punish, I don't think. Here come more stones. This is some real good damage. Dude, orange's stones looking kind of nasty. Wanted to block us a uh, three there, I guess, huh? <gasps> oh, shit. Dude, Necro's grab range is so far. Nice uh, hingle there from orange. Oh, look at the parry. Orange should be able to kill. Oh my god. You win. Orange takes over top. Should we try Alt Shift 5, guys? This is your Alt Shift 5 is the uh, strike through. Let's find out together. So I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to do Alt Shift 5. Hey, it worked! Okay, Alt Shift 5. So now we see that the vests have a nice lead, a real nice lead on the undies. Let's do Orange versus Decoy Mandas, guys. Let's do Aura Aura Orange versus Decoy Mandas. First to one, please. Let me see this image, Katie. Oh my god. Dude, where did you get this? Where is this image from? That's amazing. I missed a cozy eat from Wi-Fi Kai server, though. That's one of my favorite emotes of all time, is the cozy eat. I forgot what it's called exactly. Discord has like a semi-green background you can activate with webcams. Really. I think you'd love it, Dan. I think you'd love it. Put more Dana. We have Orange here gonna go with Necro. It's an interesting pick. I think I've seen Orange Necro like once before in my life. Decoy has no super to punish that uh, Flying Viper. Nice parry though. Put more J-Bomb. Okay, Decoy saving bar now, I hope. Wow! Okay. Hmm, interesting neutral jump there. I wonder where they jumped there for maybe to beat the drills, huh? Oh no! I wanted to cross up there like he's playing Ken. Wouldn't that be amazing if Mecha could do that? <laughs> I think he misses drill input, huh? Engage. Okay, nice flying lapper. Chantu now for orange. Ooh, nice poke. Oh, and he'll corner himself to right get the grab putter in the corner again. Here's a confirm. There's stun. Oh my. Uh. Uh. 
my. Warra. Warra. Dude, what a juke there. Wow, that standing fierce is so goddamn huge. Interesting uh, escape there from Orange. Can we have a nice little life lead here? We'll confirm if the back here's. You can see for that? I think. Maybe not. Oh, I'm surprised that one over electricity. Decoy takes it over Aura Aura Orange. Well done. Let's do Decoy Mendes, guys, versus Jimbo Slice. Let's do Decoy versus Jimbo. First to one, please. As of right now, the Vests are still quite a bit ahead, though. Right? One, two, three, four, five points for the Vests. One, two, three, four points for the Shirts. Let's do Decoy versus Jimbo here, guys. Let's see if uh, Jimbo can tie this up. Or let me phrase that. Let's see if Decoy can tie this up, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Orange. I felt it right through my heart. Jimbo with the SA3 uh, uh, Rue. It's going to be an interesting matchup because Decoy has really excellent parries. That's one of Decoy's like character traits. He doesn't have any confirms in his super, which is kind of a drag. But he has excellent, excellent parries. So I kind of feel as though going dungeon against him might be kind of a, kind of a hard sell. Get it. Double parries. Didn't get super to come out, though. That's kind of unusual for a decoy. Oh, no. Where's the punish on that with uh, uh, Susan Chu? A block on Susan Chu. More the back fears, too. Can you guys believe that her overhead special is that safe on block? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Just raw back fears after it. Okay. Yeah, Jimbo's going to have to find his way in here patiently. When you fight Chun guys, that's my, as an Alex player, that's my recommendation. I'm not sure if it plays the same for every matchup, but when you're fighting Chun, just, you know, you gotta walk away from her and, and look for your spot. You gotta kind of faint around and... Oh, no. Here we go. No dungeon. Okay, nice pressure here from Decoy. Very ballsy beam kick there from uh, Jimbo Slice. Okay, let me bar off for Dungeon. Nice period there from Decoy Mandy's. Well done. I think Decoy ties it up now, right? Now we lose Jimbo here. The score is now 5 5. Brown eyes. Let's do Audrey Apples versus Decoy Mandy's. It's going to be Decoy Mandy's versus Audrey Apples. First to one, please. This is going on so fast, guys. I kind of almost feel like we should do first to two next time. What do you guys think? We're already down to our final players here. We've got, you know, half the team's gone. Should we keep it with the first to one format or go to first to twos? Like that song, Apples. Remember, one, oh, one. Or, love is a temple, love's the higher law. With Mary J. Bly, remember? Yeah, I'm waiting for the nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, well, I got the pick. Well, There's a reminder, Katie. Katie says here, guys, the next auto qualifier is December 17th at Barcode in Garden Grove, California. Check out the schedule and sign up over at the Start GG slash tournament slash Jazzy Auto Qualifier Barcode Street Fighter 3 Third Strike details. If you guys use the events command in the chat, I should also bring up a, a, a link. You guys can go check out all the Jazzy events, including Barcode. Oh, Confirmacion from Decoy. Oh my god, this pressure. Now, Apple also plays Chun. Oop. Wow, what a punish there from Decoy. Prepare to strike. Stay solid, Apples. Oh, touched her toe there. They follow McLovin. <laughs> McLovin 3. The classic. Oh, got the grab. Holy shit. I don't know if that grab was too early, looked like. Huh? Oh, no. Nice parry from Apples, but didn't block. Deco keeps on moving, guys. 
Who's going to stop Decoy? Let's do Decoy Mandis versus Kyosuke. This will be fun. Long time no see. The Prodigal Son returns. Decoy Mandis versus Kyosuke. That's not Kib, but Kyosuke. The Prodigal Son. Here we go. What's up, Gert Locker? Welcome aboard, dude. Gert, this coming Friday, we're doing pizza and a movie. If you want, I'd love if you would recommend me a snack to try on Friday. If you guys don't know, I owe Gert Locker a fucking snack review on stream. He has to tell me a, a snack of his that he enjoys a lot, and I'm going to have to go buy it. Them's the breaks. I'm looking forward to it, though, when the time is right. Because I still don't know, dude. What's some good snack ideas, guys? You can go get it at Walmart. It was a pick up veggie, dude. Pick up veggie. Got Kyosuke and Decoy. You'd be surprised here. I'm actually eating a lot of carrots lately, guys. I've been buying carrots and eating them like Bugs Bunny. Hey, Just raw. Pippi likes to ruffles all dressed up. <laughs> Apple's got fucking pushed out of the lobby. Mm, you like cauliflower girl locker? You like it raw? Or do you like it steamed? Or what's the dilly? Just raw carrots, dude. Just big ass carrots, dude. Go. I like them big enough I can look at them and wonder how much it would please me. Apples is pro abazabas. Came up for the low there, but just gets grabbed out of it. I wonder how Kyosuke feels about the Chun Li matchup. I feel like we've never seen Kyosuke fight Chun Li. That's the natural selection, being allergic to peanuts. You guys think that being allergic to peanuts is a sign of, of, like, physical impotency? I think it's just a handicap that people have at random. It seems pretty common to me. But it could just be that people are, that are, you know, let's say, uh, not especially, uh, not especially, uh, robust. It's expressed to their peanut allergy. Kitties are not even real. I'm pretty sure I've had peanuts before, KD, once or twice. I actually have a bag of peanuts M&Ms right here. Are you trying to tell me that these are not peanuts inside these M&Ms? It could be something else altogether. Maybe it's like a like a pea. I think it's, it's weakness, huh? It's weakness. You guys think that only the strong deserve to eat peanuts? You think those are peanuts. Maybe you're right, KD. I really have no proof. I've never, like, cracked them open and looked at it before. Whoa! Look at the goddamn stun! Kyosuke stops Decoy's reign of terror while we all talk about peanuts. Well done, young Kyosuke. What am I doing here? I'm just clicking away like a madman. Let's go ahead and move on to the next fight in the tournament, guys. Let's do Kyosuke versus uh, Megedu san. That would be fun. Kyosuke versus Megedu san. First to one, please. It's been a long time since we had the pleasure of having Megedu here. Make sure you guys follow him on Twitter. He has all kinds of cool content he's always posting. Alt shift five. Alt shift five. Almonds come from California, says apples, huh? The only nuts I care about are the ones in your mom's mouth. Oh my god. What a round through, man. So much stun damage. Yeah, orange, you wanted that. Perfect. Peanut allergies are natural selection trying its damnedest, huh? And for your information, every almond takes a gallon of water to make? That's crazy. I see a black screen. What's going on? Here we go. All that for a drop of almonds to sweep in. We suck up all the water here for him, huh? Fuck these droughts. Is that true? Orange, you make a take a whole gallon of water to make one single almond? How can that how can that be in our favor in terms of like, you know, entropy? The heat death of the universe. To use all that water for one almond? Then we just eat the almond like it's nothing? We should have Megiddo play this a lot more often back in the old PS3 days as Ludicrous Kill. He was mostly by Megadu now, which I think is great. Ooh. 
His yang is, me, his yun's quite gnarly. Oh! oh! I can't believe Wakabin grabbed right there. Or if the universe becomes cold, at least I can say I got some almonds. Well, I guess. And maybe it's better that way than to not have ever tried almonds. New figure here changed from a good sign. Nice block, that's not safe. Good punish! Yo! What a punish! Block that look up DP as well. Oh, oh my. I love seeing those Abuki cross under shenanigans get punished. That launch is not safe on block. What's up, Dizzy? Uh oh, my floater here. Wow, I just escape from, from Kyosuke, but not enough. The guy who takes it, well done. A little after touch there as well. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, guys, once again, the teams are now tied up. Actually, no, they're not tied up anymore. Oh, I got a fight now. Oh, my. So, right now, we've got uh, the undies are ahead by one point. If I can stop Magidu Sam, we'll get tied up again, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's too easy, Venkabad. It's too easy. It's too easy, Katie. I haven't fought Yuna forever, feels like. Are you ready? Go! Didn't want that, but looks it. How can it be 7 4 <laughs> Nicely done. What a crouching short. Nicely done. Ooh. Can't believe that throw killed. Well done, well done. Let's do, we have one more player on our team, guys. It's Beach Ken. Let's do Beach Ken versus Megedu. He has to beat three people to save it for the vests. Let's do Megedu versus Beach Ken. First to one, please. Let's go, Beach Ken. Let's go. <laughs> seven four matchup. It's seven four matchup, you know, because Yun's really good, but <laughs> Alex he can hang, you know. He can hang. <laughs> it's not quite seven three. Let's go, Beach Ken. Let's go. Ready. Engage. Oh my god, that shove is active. Good block there, no punish. Whoa! If he had fucking punished that with DP, he would have been so sick. Get it. We gotta make that into a meme where a matchup is really bad, but it's not that really bad, right? It's 7 4. Like, it's not, it's not so bad at 7 3. <laughs> Nice reaction there from Beach Ken. Oh no! Oh, a lot of punters there from Beach Ken. Oh my! Man. Are you ready? Go! Oh shit! Oh, what the hell? What a Zempo! Wow, you see that? He got the Zempo mad deep because of the iframes. Oh my god! What a parry from Beach Ken! Oh my. Uh oh. 
Hi. We get a real good shot here, though. He's got a real good shot! Oh, he got it! Oh, he dropped it. What a period there from Beach Ken. Oh, whoop! Sick! We got round three, guys. Here we go. Beach Ken has to win this for the team. Oh, what a deep ass grab. Oh, shit! Got the, uh, the walk under there. Good block. I like the activation here. Raw super! Gotta respect that. Oh my god! Oh, what a scoop! Oh man. Did he delay that fireball? That was a super sick game between Beach Ken and Magedu. Well done, Magedu. You played great, like, like Beach Ken, very impressive. Let's do uh, Beach Ken now versus Third Noobster. Let's do Beach Ken versus Third Noobster. First to one, please. You went kidding, Neon. For sure it did. Dude, what a challenge, Orange, with the raw super in the middle of Ganesian, so we could get that shit tight. The fireball is a change-up timing from Shoryu to Tatsu. Oh, thank you, Katie. Okay, okay. So that was what, like a heavy fireball? I see, Katie. I see. It felt like it was really slow. And you're right. I was probably expecting a, like, in my mind, that was supposed to be like a DP or something. I bet you did the slowest fireball you could possibly do. That's why it felt delayed. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever the slowest fireball is, yeah. I think we're right, it's jab, right? Are you ready? Go! Schwopes with ponies. Touch the toe there. Okay, that's a really obnoxious the jump away roundhouse. Scoop! Nice challenge there from the third nooster. Ooh, hit him high as hell with that fucking jumping roundhouse. Couldn't quite get the uh, lift punish in time. I like that back dash from Beach Ken, but push punch a little bit too slow. And here with the jab there at that range, pretty smart. Oh my god. I can't believe he's close enough for the crouching short short there. Prepare to strike now. Ooh, did miss the big natural though. Oh, he didn't have bomb, sorry. He didn't have bomb. Maybe he did have bomb. He spent on the Tatsu. Okay, that's going to be a hard knockdown. Push him right back in. Excellent parry. He's not enough, though. Noob Strat's bar. This boy hit fucking crouching strong right there. Oh, well, no. Big drop from Noobster there. He's going he's to regret that. Ooh, he fucking dashed in put us on the corner there. Nice block on the uh, standing strong. Good night, Neon. Sleep well, homie. Have a good bruise day, use day. Oh, uh, no. There it is, dude. Wow. Very close uh, round there. Here we go, guys. Quote unquote grand finals. We have Arteus, the team leader for the Undies, versus Beach Ken, the team leader for the Vests. After this, guys, we're going to be doing one more of these uh, tournaments at the very least. Probably even more than one more, to be honest. Let's do Beach Ken versus uh, SHG Arteus. First to one, please. The overhead. What's up, Blackbeard Slim? If you want to play the next one, jump in right now, guys. Use that join command in the chat to put in the private lobby. I'm going to pull the lobby here uh, after this fight's over to see who wants to join the next one. I think we should do first to twos next time. Go. Isn't it great, Dizzy? You guys think the first to two would slow down too much? I don't think so. Okay. We're doing an experiment here, guys. See if first two will work if we're too slow. Our taste is a small life lead now. Have a good night, uh, in that case, Black Beard. Have a good sleep. Depends on how many we add. Right now, I think it'd be fine. Probably the length of a chocolate factory. Huh? I kind of feel like we're not going to get any more. Oh, the dash through. We had, what, 18 players for this one? If I had to guess, probably next one won't be any more than that. Probably even less. Orange wants that first of two so we can get the download around. Huh? Nice parry. I feel like uh, Artisco got more raw super and it fucking worked. Holy shit. How does he know? Artisco built some more bar now. Oh, nice jump back medium points. That was sick. Or is that fierce? That's fierce, right? Oh shit! That's a punish. Wow. 
Only got cleared that once, oh no. Uh oh, the punish there from Beach Can on the uh, lift with electricity. Okay. Oh, it's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Hmm, nice mix up there from uh, Beach Can. What a dragon punch. Look at that damage. You can chip now. Wow, the dragon punch. Well done, uh, our taste. Well done, Beach Can. In this case, the vests take it, guys. That was so much fun. Congrats to Beach Ken, congrats to the vest. What a legend. We're gonna do the shirts and the blouses now, guys. We've seen that this time, the vests overcome the undies. But who will win between the shirts and the blouses? Who's in? I'm gonna actually add the whole lobby here again. Congrats to the vests for the victory over the undies in a very close civil war. At channel, who's down to play in the next one? It'll be the same format, but first to two this time. Good games, actually. Good games, the beach can. Sciences don't play in a first one format all that often, huh? Yeah, first to one, it's got its pros and its cons. It's very quick, which is great, but it is also, um, you know, there's more between time as a streamer, as a host. There's more between time between games that way. It's kind of a drag in that respect. But also, I kind of feel like for the players, sometimes first to two feels a little bit more like engaging. So we're going to have um, Sophus, we're going to have Jonesy, Orange, Zion, Arteus, and Drifter. Nice, nice, nice. At the very least. Let's get this show started here in about five minutes, guys. Let's not wait terribly long to get this next one started. I'm actually going to get a, uh, some third check ambiance here in the meantime. If you guys want to play, use that join command to the uh, Twitch chat. Jump into our private lobby. Let me know there you want to play. Thank you to my friends who are letting me know in the private lobby they want to play in the next one. Same format, guys, where the lowest seeds will play first. The higher seeds play later on as the anchors. Let's start getting this uh, bracket figured out, shall we? Do, 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 do. Pull the neck right up fucking Shoryu. You're gonna have that, that, what, back medium punch or whatever. That's pretty much like a Shoryu. Necro's already a, my demon, huh? I don't wish that into the world. Dude, Necro is such a whack character. Necro has it really hard, guys. If y'all are struggling with Necro, then you guys need to... Look inward, look inward. There's a lot of strong players, you know, three, this is a very balanced game. There's some very strong players on Fight Kid to play Necro. But he's, uh... As a character, he's got a lot of limitations. He's slow. His damage ain't that good. His jump is mad floaty. Prepare to strike now. He has a really fast wake up, which is pretty sick. Oh, of course not, of course not, obviously. What's up, Dang? I thought that girl's top five. No, you're thinking of Yang. You're thinking of Yang, my friend. How you doing, Dang? Dipadito. Yeah. Refresh the page. This is this dude fucking challenge is being so whack today. Are you ready? Go. Guys, in about five minutes we're doing uh, Sn uh Sneech's Civil War number two. Shirts versus blouses. Use that join command in the chat and I'll assign you either to be a shirt or a blouse. Here in the private fight lobby, we're gonna do uh Sophist. Okay, we're gonna have Sophist, we're gonna have uh Venkabot and Jonesy. Sophisticated. Then Kabat. Jonesy143, I believe, right? Indeed it is, with a capital J. Let's not dishonor the man. We're gonna have a uh, Aura Aura Orange and Zion. Aura Aura Orange. Zion FGC underscore. Let's do Arteus and Liquid Drifter and Decoy. SHD Arteus. Liquid Drifter. Decoy Mandis. There's a Cliffs of Dover, let's fucking go. Let's see Cliffs of Dover here with my friend Momotron. And three Venge, another one. Cliffs of Dover. Wi-Fi, Kai, three Venge. Good game, Skills Gate. I can make it tonight, dude. You're a busy man, Skills It makes it even more of an honor to have you here in the first place. First of twos, Artes, indeed, yes. First of twos. So we got how many players now? Let's find out. We have 10 players as of now, guys. We got Peppercorn, let's go. We got third Noobster, perfect. 
Third Noobster. Peppercorn, aka Papi Sama. We have 12 players as of now, guys. Let's start sorting this into a seed, shall we? And put Arteus way up here. Oh, man, come on. Why is this site so whack today? I wonder if it's because of the zoom level or something. I kind of doubt it, though. Okay, we'll pull Sophist down. Yeah, it's just being weird. It's just being weird today. Hmm, so we got, uh, who else we got here? Or, or orange, okay, no. three venge. Dope, we have Decoy Mandiz. I wonder who's scarier, him or Cliffs of Dover. I feel like I'm gonna put, hmm, that's really hard to put Dover higher, though. Oh, you're right there, maybe Elon Musk fall. Dover, we're gonna go here above Decoy. They're both Chun players. Okay, we got Zion's SA1 Makoto. We got Jonesy143. If Aura Aura Orange has been playing great tonight. We have three then. I'm going to put him mm, probably right about here for now. Liquid Jifter. Third Noobster should go above Dover. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Peppercorn, Sophist. Um, yeah, I like that. Drifter. I like that too. Zion, uh, above Jonesy, probably. Above Three Venge? I'm not gonna go that far. Arteus, Mechbot, Noobster, Dover, Decoy, Orange, Three Venge, Zion, Jonesy, Drifter, Peppercorn, Sophist. I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the lobby again here. I might go right down the line here, in fact. We got, we got, uh, we got, uh, Nugetu san We have Lord Solar. We have, uh, who else is not in this fight yet? Soul Shine. Tab. Jimbo's not in. Any of y'all want in on the next one? We would like to play. You're right, we're not even pick up on that. Don't look at that, Blade Motron. Look at it as, uh, as, uh, you know, there's kind of like a gap. There's a gap, I think, between you and Noobster. Don't get ahead of yourself, my friend. But I think that because your Chun Li has more reliable confirms than Decoys, I would say that your Chun is slightly stronger. Decoys is no slouch, though. We have Jonesy, yeah, okay, okay. The time is now uh ten fifty guys. Let's go let's give two more minutes before we jump into this next tournament. Hope y'all enjoyed the first one. This one's gonna be a little bit more involved, I think, guys. I think the first two formats are gonna make it a little bit more uh, a little bit more epic. Yeah, uh Momotron, if you could hang with Noobster, I'd be very impressed. I think you could definitely do it. I think you could do it. But I think that on average, I'm sure that uh, that it's probably fair to say that you know, that third noobster probably a little bit scarier. But I think that if you push yourself, you can definitely hang with this dude. Your Chun is no joke. Are you still focusing on Chun level Chun, or you got some other idea characters in mind as well? I know he was a Chun player. I don't know, Decoy. Your pairs are really great. I think that as a Chun player, though, you'd be you need to get to the point where you're working on your confirms more. Because that's going to open up a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot of opportunity for you. I think your parries are going to always serve you well. That's third strike. That's just going to be that can translate to any character, right? As a Chun player, though, I feel like you're not playing to a high potential because you're not going for confirms. Okay, so the time is now uh, 10:52, guys. I think we're going to jump in here. We got what, 12 players? Is Venk about in here? He is. We got two teams of six, guys. Let's do two teams of six. I'm gonna start seeing this thing. I'm gonna go over here and be like, registration is now closed. Okay, so let's get a uh, another window like this. Just like that. The shirts! It's gonna be Sophist. Oops. Sophisticated. As well as Liquid Drifter. The space. 
We're gonna do uh, Zion, FGC on this team. We're gonna have Aura, Aura, Orange on this team. We're gonna have Cliffs of Dover, aka Momotron, aka Home Computer on this team. We're gonna have Venkabot on this team. That's six. The Blouses are gonna be Peppercorn. Jonesy, one, four, three. Y, Phi, Kai, three, Venge. Decoy Mandis, third, Noobster. And Arteus, that's a really overpowered team. I respect that. All right, so we've got Sophist, Drifter, Zion, Orange, Dover, and Venkabot on the shirts. The Blouses, Peppercorn, Jonesy, Three Venge, Decoy, Noobster, and Arteus. Mm, it's going to be tough for the shirts, I feel like. Here we go, guys. Let's get things started here with uh, Sophist versus Peppercorn. Stitch Civil War, the shirts versus the Blouses. Okay, here we go. It's going to be Sophist versus Peppercorn. First to two, uh, please. We're doing first of twos now. All the way through. I hope you're right, K-Rack. I hope you're right. I don't think Decoy could do anything he puts his mind to. But it seems like he is... Uh, he's not really that attracted to the idea of doing confirms. He likes Chun a lot, but he doesn't like doing confirms a lot. I think that if Decoy were to play a more metered and patient game where he's going for more hit confirms in a super... With his amazing skill with parrying, he could be a very, very fearsome chun in the U.S. In the meantime, guys, let's get Sophist here playing Ibuki probably versus Peppercorn. Probably going to be playing Remy. Unless he's been playing somebody else lately. First to twos from now on, guys. We have six, uh, six players in each team. A little bit smaller this time, which makes things a little bit easier for first to twos, I think. 